Amy of Fashion Toppings here with a refashion project. Now you remember this skirt, it's brand new, and I thrifted it, and I paid, I said $10, but I think, I remember right, this is one that was even less than that because it was in the $5 section, but it was in my last video. Um, but I decided I'm gonna go ahead and tackle it today because I wanna wear it. You'll remember this because it's the gorgeous tie-dye, uh, ombre dyed fabric. It's got the peach at the bottom, orange peach, white, and then the green. What I like about it, it has the eyelets, you know, these little layers. But look at that, it's a small. I am not a small around my midsection anymore. <laughs> um, I've grown to accept that. Now, here we go. Look at how tiny this little waist is. I mean, here we go. <laughs> there's, there's half my, half my midsection. And there's the other half. <laughs> so this thing, I can wear it, but I mean, it's squeezing everything right off the top. It gives muffin top a whole new meaning. So, but I love the fabric. So what I'm gonna do is I can picture this being T length or, you know, uh, shortly below the knee. I can see it being shortly below the knee and wearing it with boots this fall and a nice chunky sweater. And so I'm going to shorten it, but I don't want to lose the dyeing on the ends, see how it's dip dyed at the ends? So I, I don't want to touch the bottom because most, you know, and, and hem it up. I want to make the waistband larger. Well, guess what? See how the fabric goes out? I'm going to move the waistband down to the next, to this next layer of eyelets. I'm just going to move the waistband down. So I'm going to shorten the dress basically by that much. So it'll make it just short and it'll make it short enough where you can see that I'm wearing boots underneath and some of my cute boots will get some visibility for once because I always, you know, you see my shopping, I wear a lot of long skirts and, and I love tie dye. As you can see, these are the tie dye shorts I told you I shopped. I got them at Gap, $9.99 and then they're in the clearance section, another 60% off. I mean, I think I paid like four bucks for them and then it was tax free weekend because I got them during that school shopping weekend when I was on vacation. This is one of the things I had to ship back to myself because I didn't, didn't ruin my suitcase. So, on to the project, I'll, I'll quit gabbing. The thing about this skirt is, it'd be nice and easy if this is all it was, but there's a skirt on the inside, which is also dip dyed. And I don't wanna lose the length that's on the skirt underneath, because if I shorten the skirt underneath, then these eyelets will be up higher. You're gonna be, might potentially see some private areas that don't want to be visible. So I'm not gonna to touch the length of this at all. So first thing I need to do, I am bought a new seam ripper. I'm, here's the outside of the skirt. Here's the lining. And I'm not gonna worry about how neat I am because I'll be redoing the waistband anyway. I can either take a scissors or, or I can take a seam ripper and separate the inner skirt from the outer skirt right along the waistband. And um, I think I might go ahead and cut it. <laughs> I don't want to take the time to seam rip it. So I'm going to make, I'm just going to cut right along the waistband. Okay, I'm going to cut the lining out. And just so that I'm, you know, I do want it to be straight. I'm going to cut right along the waistband so that I know my cuts are straight. Let me go ahead and cut this and I'll be right back. Okay, I, this is the in, the skirt that's on the inside. Look at how big it is at the waist now that because it's all, it was all gathered at the last like before. So here we go. So we're gonna save that and set it to the side. And I cut nice and straight because I followed the waistband. So I'm just gonna fold it up nice and neat and set it to the side for now. Okay. I went ahead and put my lining down to the side, and now it's time to, to work on the skirt. And you can see how tiny this little waist, this waist, I mean, it's about as wide as my head. Um, I'm going to bring it all the way down to this first row of lace. Now, if you don't have this lace as a guideline, then you're just going to have to measure down from the waistband. And um, measure down, you can use a ruler and make some marks, you know, so that you know that you're making it straight across, because you don't want your your hem at the bottom of your skirt to be kind of wonky. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut, and I'm gonna cut, actually, I'm gonna, here's my waistband right here. I'm going to cut my little eyelet, or my lace, my lace strap right here is about an inch wide. So I'm gonna cut a little bit more, just a little bit more than an inch above it. Okay, just to be safe, I'm gonna go one and a half inches. And then I'll trim off any excess I, need. Okay. 
cut the waistband off so I have, it's easier to work with. I just go ahead and cut the waistband off so that my fabric isn't gathered and I can pull it tight and then I can, it's easier to make a straight cut. And I don't have a fancy dancy camera that will allow me to videotape what I'm doing. I might be able to show it a little bit. There. Okay, so I'm watching on my, my measuring. Not, I guess I'm going to eyeball it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pin this so it doesn't move around while I'm cutting. I'm pinning my two layers together just because it wants to move around while I'm cutting. And so I'm going to pin the two together. So I went ahead and I pinned my two layers of fabric together. I pinned them together so that it doesn't move around. So now I can cut and my two layers of fabric, the front and the back of the skirt, I don't have a very big cutting board, um, the front and the back of the skirt will be even. So go ahead, I already cut the front, cut the back. And I'll straighten it out in just a second. Okay, so now, as you can see, my waistband used to be up here. I've cut off the waistband, and this is where this is what my new casing is going to be. And so I cut an inch and a half above that, just so I have a little bit of extra. Now, what I'm going to do, take my pins out. I will need these back in just a second. I need to create my channel. Like I said, the reason we're doing the waistband, so I don't get any comments as, oh, why didn't you just take it off the bottom? I want to keep the hem that's on there right now. I don't want to take that off. So here, this is what I was trying to show you earlier. So here is the lace that I want to use as my waistband. Here's my excess fabric. I'm going to fold it under the, behind behind the lace. So this is our good side of the fabric. This is the inside of our skirt. I'm just folding that excess material that we just cut. I'm folding it and going to pin it. I'm going to do that all the way around. Keep folding that fabric down because I need, I need, I need fabric in the behind the lace in order to make a channel so I can run the old string through that was in the old waistband. I'm going to reuse that because it matches the skirt still. And I just keep folding it. What's nice is that this has the lace so it's giving me a guideline. If you don't have the lace to follow as your straight line you will have to measure probably from the bottom of the skirt up and, and make chalk lines. Okay, let me go ahead and fold this all the way around, and then I'll be right back to show you what's next. Okay, so I pinned all the way around. Here's the inside of my skirt. See, it's going to be a channel. There's the outside of my skirt. That's the lace. So I'll have a nice finished looking edge. Now, you could go ahead and put the lining in now, but for me, this lace is so see-through on the outside, I don't want to be able to see the lining, the edge of the lining inside the lace, so I'm going to attach it last. And I'm gonna, I'll, I'm going to trim this up and make it nice and neat, and then I'm going to attach it. So let's go ahead and just concentrate on the skirt first, and then I'll add the, the lining on. So as you can see, I made the channel all the way around. See how nice of a border that's going to be? And then on the inside, and then I'll cut off the excess, um, excess fabric. So now we're going to take it to the sewing machine, and same thing as I do in all of my videos when I do channels. I do channels a lot, too. You'll see in a lot of my videos. Now we're going to sew. We're going to sew right along the edge down here at the bottom. See, here's my skirt. In the least, you know, the least obvious spot. Making sure you don't sew up here because we need to leave this all open on the inside because we're going to run our string through it. We need to make a channel. 
So we're going to sew all the way around the skirt at the bottom of our band. And that's going to make our casing. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, I already have matching thre uh, thread in there. Okay, I'm going to slide it on to my sewing machine. My laptop is like right up against my sewing machine, so it's not giving me a lot of room. Someday I will get a better setup. And I have my needles all facing the wrong way. And you're all going to notice that. But I guess I worked a little too fast. So either fix your stitch or do a back stitch, whatever, whatever your sewing machine calls for. I have the fixed stitch. So, and just follow the bottom of what will be your casing. And go all the way around. Okay, now follow all the way around the bottom of your casing. So there's the inside of the skirt, and there's the outside, nice and neat on the outside. On the inside, now what I'm going to do is go back, and you see this excess fabric, you know, because I, I, I went an inch and a half just so that I made sure I didn't accidentally, you know, go off the fabric and not have any fabric there. I went an inch and a half. I only needed to go an inch, but I went an inch and a half to be safe. Now what I'm going to go back and do is I'm going to trim off this extra fabric, because look at how icky it kind of looks on the inside. So I'm just going to cut very close to, to my seam. I'll show you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. See right there how I went nice and close to my stitch line, and there how messy it looks. I'm gonna go all the way around and clean that up up to my stitch line so it looks nice and neat from the inside as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and attach our um, skirt lining, and I'm gonna show you um, how we're gonna put the hole so that we can do our drawstring. So let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, now for putting the lining on our skirt. And I forgot to mention if you have. And it's something I should have done, and which I'm going to go back and do anyway. Um, if your fabric frays, use a zigzag stitch. I use a straight stitch, and then I start thinking about it, this fabric might fray. So I'm going to go back and do a zigzag stitch. But I'm going to do it when I do this. I'll do them together. So, so they both have rough edges. I am going to go ahead and my, I, put my, I put my skirt inside out. So I'm looking at the wrong side of the fabric. And the same thing for my lining. I'm going to have it inside out as well. And I'm just going to re reattach the sides. There's the bottom of my skirt, the white. See that I wanted to keep that because of the dye. I wanted to keep that. Okay, and I'm going to slide it right over. I have my skirt inside out. I'm going to slide it right over it because we're looking at the inside of my skirt. Okay, there's my waistband up here. See? Okay, let's set it down a second. And I'm going to make sure if I have any side seams, which I know I do, make sure the side seams match up. Okay, so I matched up my side seams, and now I'm just going to pin along, right along the waistband, holding the two together. I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll show you as soon as I get it done. So I have it all pinned on, and as you can see, there's my good side of the fabric, and there's my wrong side of the fabric. I actually went up above my sew line because I'm going to be stitching from the right side of the fabric, so I make sure it looks nice and neat. So when I'm sewing on the right side of the fabric, right where I just got done sewing, I'm sewing in the exact same spot. This time, just so, this time, so I can catch this little bit of fabric here. And I'm going to use a zigzag stitch this time, um, so that I don't have to worry about any frayed edges, and as an extra reinforcement. Because I, I used the straight stitch before, 
So now we're going to be using a zigzag stitch just to take care of fraying in case there's any fraying and also just to reinforce this. I'm sewing uh, the two layers together. So as you can see, there is the old stitch line when I made my casing just a minute ago. I just went ahead and pinned all the way around the skirt, the lining. I'm on the in, and my skirt is inside out. My skirt is inside out, and I'm just sewing the two together. So there's the opening of my waistband. So let's go ahead and take a sewing machine and do that real quick. Okay, well now my waist my casing is done and my lining is my lining is attached. See I use the zigzag stitch to attach the lining. I'll go back and trim up the, the excess fabric on the outside of my stitches, but at least I have a nice, neat waistband now. Now this is awfully big, so we need to be able to put the drawstring in it. We have already made our casing, so the next thing we need to do is right in the center, in the front, we need to make it a little, a little hole in our channel so that we can feed our little cord through. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so I have my cord, and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna put a safety pin right through the end of my cord. Otherwise, it's impossible to feed these things through. Okay, so I have my safety pin through my cord. And next, I have to have a hole to be able to feed that through. So, here's the front of my skirt. I'm gonna fold it in half so I can find front center. And right at front center, I'm gonna make a snip, a little cut in my channel so that I can feed just to the top layer of my channel. I'll show you in a second. Okay, so I just made, I don't know if you can see this. I just made this a little snip, see that? I just made a little snip in front center so that I can feed my cord through. So let's go ahead and feed it through real quick. It's gonna be easy to see it because mine's lace. So you just feed it through, grabbing your safety pin, Pushing it through the channel. I'll go ahead and keep feeding this through, and when I'm all done, I'll be right back. Okay, now I've fed my cord all the way through, and now look at how much bigger this waistband is. Remember before? Oh, wait, I still have it. Okay, this is the old waistband. Remember how tiny this thing is? Okay, look, it doesn't even reach shoulder to shoulder. That's how tiny this is. But I gave this skirt a chance. I loved the fabric. So just because this waistband is small, remember, they gathered the fabric. So there's a lot of fabric there. Even though this waistband is a small, and this is a small skirt, and I am definitely not a small girl, guess what? Now look at it. It's past my shoulders. All I did um, was move my waistband from the, the, narrow, the narrow top, I just cut it off, and moved my waistband down farther on the hips. Now granted, I lost some length, but I can wear this with boots. How cute is this? And I have my skirt underneath. There we go. It's still there. Now, the nice thing about this, this is a great sewing video for, for beginners. And, and the reason I say that is, is hemming is one of the hardest things to do. Because if you make a mistake on hemming, guess what? everybody can see it. It's really hard to hide a bad hem. Now, but with the waistband, guess what? It doesn't matter how nice and neat you are. Granted, I had a nice lace that I could use, so it was nice and neat. But if you don't, it, as long as you have a straight line, it doesn't matter if you're nice and neat. When you're making your cut to put your ribbon through, um, you, know, you can use a little fray check on the fabric to make sure it doesn't fray. You can do that. But the nice thing is, is more than likely, you're going to be wearing a shirt tucked in and bloused, you know, bloused over a little bit. Most people aren't going to see your waistband. Or you can leave a shirt untucked and belt it from the outside or wear a jacket. But take the chance. If you're a brand new sewer, it's very easy to work with waistbands and channels. So if you see a skirt you like, it's not the right size, shorten it up by taking it from the waistband, not from the hem. It'll make your, your life so much easier. So this is a great project for beginner sewers um, because even if you don't do a nice and neat stitch, I mean, that, that, that's not bad. But even if you don't do a nice and neat stitch, 
nobody's going to see it because it's on the inside. So let me go ahead and put this on. I'll take a few pictures um, at the end. And there we go. Well, I hope you like this project. This is Amy with Fashion Toppings. Until next time, you have a great day.